What's up everybody? It's Comp Alex Ramp1313 and today I'm going to show you how to save and import uh, text files into the text box. Now normally you would do this with a rich text box but there's always that case where you need to import it into a text box. Now uh, let me forewarn you that if you want to load uh, several lines into different text boxes you'll have to use a more advanced method. This is just for the simple one text box load the file good. Let's get started. Alright fans, are you ready for some tech? Well, you should be. You're watching this video. Alright, so first of all, open up Visual Studio. As you can see, I'm coding in C-sharp.cs. This method works for Visual Basic, just make it Visual Basic Syntax. Alright, so I created a basic form right here. Text box, two buttons, blah. This one's in a... a, a, a. This one's the import button, this one's the export button. This one's button one, this one's button two, this one's text box one. Go ahead and do that. I'll leave the project link in the description. Alright, so first of all, let's get into the coding. Let's start off with import. Actually, get rid of that first. This is my second take, by the way. So first of all, before you code anything, add in at the top using system.io semicolon for visual basic it's import system dot io without that semicolon all right so let's fuck off okay so let's code the open file dialog so open file dialog ofd equals new open file dialog we'll set the open file dialog to just uh, save text files eh. forgot that semicolon because you gotta have that semicolon alright now if you've ever programmed a dialogue uh, such as an open file dialogue or a save file dialogue you should know this method it's the exact almost the exact same thing as in Visual Basic. If OFD dot show dialog equals equals What the hell happened? Add in our brackets. For Visual Basic, it's pretty much the same thing, except you don't need these parentheses and you add that instead of these brackets. It'll automatically end in end if All right, so let's code this. This is an import, so we have to set the text of this text box. So to do that, first of all, we'll, we'll command the program to actually get some text for the text box. So text box one dot text equals system dot io dot file dot read all text the path will be what you got okay if you know stuff about computers good you know the path for those noobs that are just using my video to plagiarize well a path is where a program is located it's the visual represent well not necessarily visual fucking hell it's the linear representation of where a file is located. All right, so read all text OFD dot file name. So whatever file name you commanded OFD to get. Now let's go to button two. I don't want form load. Now it's almost the exact same code. Actually, it's not. I don't want to make a mistake like I did in take one. Save file dialog SFD equals new save file dialog. The filter of SFD will again be just text files. I misspelled files on the first one. TXT. Uh, hold on. 
Index files. There we go. I can't type today. There we go. All right. So like we did with OFD, we'll tell SFD to do something when the dialog result is okay. So as if FSD SFD dot show dialog equals dialog result dot okay. Then we'll save a file. So system dot io dot file dot write all text. The path will be whatever you chose in the file dialog. So sfd dot file name and the string contents, which is what's in the text file, is whatever you typed in the text box, the so text box one dot text. All right, let's save it. Let's run it. I got a boo boo. Oh, yeah, I forgot to get rid of that. There we go. All right. So we'll type in Rainbow Dash is not best pony. I can't type today for some reason. Rainbow Dash is not best pony because she isn't. Test vid. All right, it should have saved to our documents or wherever you saved it. And now we'll type in cheerily is best pony because she obviously is. Let's go into import. Let's find testvid.txt. Open it. There we go. It read the contents of our string. And that's how to do it. That's how to open text files into a text box. Practically, you'll barely use this. Of course, they're going to use a rich text box because it's much easier. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Please comment and subscribe. Uh, see ya.